Hello friends, this is Dr. Atul Kumar Webhav, MBBS 2019 batch from AIMS Patna. I had secured All India rank of 694 in NEET PG 2025 and All India rank of 758 in INICT November 2025. So friends, if you would have been following this channel, then you might be knowing that I, sh I had also shared my uh, INICT preparation journey on this YouTube channel. And so today I will be sharing my scorecard. Uh, that is the number of corrects, number of incorrects and all those things. So yes, the scorecard is out. You can also check your scorecard. You, sh you can log in and where there were links of the admit card and all those things. That is the front page itself. There only your score will be displayed and at the bottom there will be also an option to download your scorecard apart from sharing my scorecard uh, there are two purposes to this video number one i want i request all the viewers who had attempted inict number 2025 to also share their marks and their ranks that is the number of corrects incorrects unattempted and their ranks in the comment section because we know that uh, aspirants every year find it uh, uh, like very difficult they go various go to various places and search for marks versus rank and all those things so i want that they get it in one place only so in the comment section you can mention your marks and your ranks so that it becomes easy for the future aspirants to come uh, to know at how many marks or how many corrects you get what rank they get a, a rough idea although these things vary but they should get a rough idea so that's an, uh, one purpose and the second purpose i will be comparing uh, the score of INICT november with my uh, mock test scores of various coaching platforms like of uh, Marrow, Prep Ladder, uh, Cerebellum and DAMS. I will be comparing this because many aspirants also have this confusion in the last days that uh, which uh, mock test to give because there are many mock tests and sometimes time is limited. So they uh, feel confused which one mock test they should attempt. Although I recommend that you should uh, attempt as many free mock tests of as many platforms possible, but sometimes it is not possible. So in that case, by seeing this video, because I will be comparing the final score with the mock scores and you can decide for yourself which uh, coaching platform GT you should attempt if you want to attempt any one GT. One thing I want to make clear is that uh, this video is not uh, promoted by any coaching institute. Any views about those grand tests because I will be giving my views also about those grand tests or mocks. So all those views are my personal and unbiased and uh, are not uh, at all uh, promoted by any coaching institute whatsoever. So now let's begin. So first of all, uh, my score you can see here, it was uh, it is 758 rank that I have already told, 142 corrects, 58 incorrects and 0 unattempted. As you might be knowing, uh, if you would have been following my channel that I have this bad habit of uh, attempting all the questions. So yes, so since I had already a good rank in NEET PG 2025, so it made no sense to change my strategy. So I had to be aggressive in uh, solving the questions. So I attempted all the 200 questions, whatever the result came, it came. But yeah, that is a bad habit and bad habits die hard. They just stick with you. So yeah, the percentile was 98.72. Uh, 727 now uh, so this is the score so i would also uh, request all of you to please share your scores your correct answers and wrong answers and your rank in the comment section for others benefit and now i will be talking about the gt scores that is the mock scores versus the, this final score that came out so number one we will start with marrow so in the marrow uh, G gt or the mock uh, ini mock the score was 138 correct and 60 wrong two skipped 95.08 percentile okay rank was 1053 out of 21385 students so this was it so you can see now next i will be talking about prep ladder so in the prep ladder there were two champions uh, test which uh, happened of ini ct pattern so in the champion test one the score was 152 correct 48 incorrect zero unattempted uh, the percentage was 98.31 uh, the all india rank was 176 out of 10,437 so this was it now next is just uh, champions 2.0 exam uh, so in that the score was 136 correct 56 incorrect 8 unattempted and 97.77 percentile uh, and the rank was 97 out of 4,347 students so you can see that uh, the percentile was quite accurate but not that accurate because the final percentile came out to be 98.727 but it was almost like that only was 98.31 and in one of the, uh, them it was 97.77 so yeah almost mm, near to it now next is uh, the cerebellum gt the cerebellum inict mock test 4 the mock test 5 i did not attempt okay so inict mock test 4 was there which i gave in that the score was 142 correct 54 incorrect four unanswered and uh, it was 92 percentile and 118 out of 1524 so yeah percentile wise it is not accurate okay but score wise it is quite accurate 142 correct here also and in my final scorecard also it was 142 correct only so one thing is clear in the neat also i noticed this thing because in neat the uh, in the mock test the neat mock test which i attempted of cerebellum in that my score was 164 correct and the final exam the final neat exam my score was 167 correct so yeah it was quite accurate score wise and this time also the cerebellum mock score wise it is quite accurate okay very close you know, to the final score because four questions were unanswered in the mock but in the final exam i attempted all but still the number of corrects were accurate so marks wise i found out that cerebellum gts are quite accurate and uh, 
percentile wise i have found out that preflatter gt's are quite accurate and rank wise if you say rank wise then marrow gt is uh, around accurate because in marrow gt my rank was 1053 and in the final exam it came out to be 758 so it can be said that uh, rank wise you can say marrow is more accurate percentile wise you can say preflatter is more accurate and marks wise you can say cerebellum is more accurate now coming to the fourth gt uh, uh, that is the inict mock of the dams so in the dams my uh, score was 159 correct and 40 incorrect 199 questions attempted and 26 rank out of 8 Hundred and thirty-nine. So percentile wise, you can see that I think it is around ninety-seven percentile. Okay, in this GT, damn GT. So this was all about the GT score comparison. That is the mock mock GT score comparison with the final score comparison and also my scorecard. So friends, now I would like to conclude the video. But before concluding, I will share a very interesting thing with you. See, my score was one hundred and forty. Uh, two correct and fifty-eight incorrect. Okay, in that my rank was seven hundred and fifty-eight. One of in uh, one of my friends scored one hundred and forty-seven correct and fifty-three incorrect. That is, he also attempted all the questions and his rank was around. I will not give you exact rank, but yeah, it it is in two nineties. Okay, so in the two nineties. So yeah, a few questions here and there, and it can cost you your seat. So silly mistakes must be minimized in exams like I N I C T. And for minimizing the silly mistakes, the only way is solving a lot and lot of G T S, lots and lots of questions. You have to solve. You have to solve. Uh, do test and discussions. You have to give a lot. of test and watch the discussions thoroughly and you must improve day by day so yeah this is one thing which i wanted to share so this is it for i uh, hope you liked this video i hope you found it uh, to be informative if you like the video then you may hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe the channel for more such videos and more videos regarding the strategies and residency life and all those things and once again i'll request you to please comment your marks versus rank in the comment section uh, thanks for watching